welcome Cynthia here just with you today doing a couple of pages in my mini album so I'm doing a mini album a part of the scrap girls 100 day challenge and every now and then I'm filming a couple of pages here and there and today I'll be sharing two pages so my mini album I decided that I would do a hundred days of music that I like or have been, been in inspiration in my life or have meant something or I've just liked by the towards the end of the hundred days I'll probably just have any music that I can think of but um, to start with it's songs that mean something or artists that mean something or other so this particular page here is about Kenny Rogers song The Gambler um, such a classic song I know when I was growing up and going out to pubs and clubs most of the bands during the end of the night would always end with The Gambler because you could guarantee that everybody in the room knew the song and it would get the crowd up and going. So as a part of the song it actually talks about um, I can see you're out of aces. So I knew I had these playing cards in my stash so I've just pulled out the uh, the pack and have used as you can see the 10 jack queen and king and no ace just colored in the king with a bit of gesso and that's where I'll put my journaling just talking about what I spoke about how it's such a classic Kenny Rogers song and it was always guaranteed to get the crowd singing for some reason or other, even if we was there listening to the latest pop songs, the gambler would always get people going. So I've just put a little bit of um, gesso over the page just trying to make sure that's all glued down I think that was the reason why I was doing that so it wasn't just so it was matte medium gel just to seal everything down so those cards don't lift up over a period of time and those stickers the gambler they generally lift up a fair bit so I pulled out at the beginning I pulled out a sticker sheet from I think it's a um, I think it's Kaiser Craft and it was a travel themed pack and those stickers there so I've just pulled off a couple of the borders and put them around in a minute here I'll pull out a stamp and do a bit of stamping all over the page so I'm not keeping up day by day with my mini album but I am just putting along and doing a few pages here and there as I go along I did initially decide that somewhere along the line I wasn't going to record these pages because they weren't you know not a lot goes into them but I'm flipping through my book now oh, I've done some really nice pages that I really like I mean there's nothing to them they're pretty simple but um, just I like them so as I said every now and then I'll keep um, doing a process video and then at the end of the project I'll do a full flip through so going away on our boat for a week coming up so this morning I've been busily trying to um, print some stuff out to take with me to work on and I'm going to go and work on some pages in my mini album while we're away as well so I packed a few of those I'll do a few more pages coming up soon so there you go there's the stamp that I used it's just a travel themed stamp and I've 
just stamped it over the page. My initial thought was just to do the bottom and the top and along the edge where it was a little bit white, but that ended up making the middle look a little bit plain and boring. So I um, did a little bit over top of ghost stamping over top of my writing as well, just to carry that texture. So here's my next page and I'm not worried about whether the pages beside each other marry up or look the same or have the same colour scheme. Nope, nothing like that. That's far too much thought and effort for this book. It's just whatever comes to me. So this is a photo of Jimmy Barnes. And I have to say, I am a big fan of the Barnsey. And in fact, he was my first two concerts that I ever saw in the late 80s, early 90s, I would say it was. Went and saw him twice in concert, or the, my first two were him anyway. So I've just found a photo. And with the images, if I actually take a photo of the person or the singer I try to take a photo of how I visualize them in my mind and so obviously today he looks totally different oh, no he doesn't look totally he looks different but this page is about me going to see him in concert so I want it to have an image that represented that time and that era Coming up um, in a few layouts, I did um, a double page layout of about Madonna. Um, the first move I ever went and saw was Desperately Seeking Susan. So obviously I took a, I went on Google and found an image that looked like that um, from the movie. And then I recently went and saw her in concert as well. So I took a photo. So I've got two photos, one of back in the 80s and one of Madonna um, today. So that's what I'm trying to save about the photos. Also using this book as a good opportunity to use up some of my ephemera pieces that I have laying around that I never seem to use. So I've pulled out these tickets um, and I thought they'd go appropriate considering it's all about concerts. And I put three or four up the top there, and then I another, make another little cluster down the bottom here. And that's where I'll do my journaling and put a little bit of a title. So the quick videos. I'm oh, sorry, I've just been realising I've been flipping through my book while for Yafflin. So I hope you haven't been hearing that, and it's annoying. Put my journaling down and as I said it just talks about the fact that he, Jimmy Barnes, was my first two concerts. So whenever I do someone that I have saw in concert I'll make sure that I put that I've seen them in concert and I'm thinking that if I ever go back again in the future and see them in concert again well, I might go back and and add on that I saw them again and mm, maybe I'm thinking thinking about doing that and we'll see how many pages and how bulky the book is at the end I may even add other people that I go and see in concert coming up in the future so I know I've done a page already about pink and I'll be going to see her in concert again next year so I will definitely go back and add somewhere on the page that I saw again in concert. There we go wild thing I thought that's pretty appropriate for Jimmy Barnes certainly back in his younger days he was a bit of a wild boy I think he's settled down a bit now but thought that was quite appropriate to put there. Tuck that little amazing tag in and I think that's you know not much more to do I put a a string through the tag that says um, there's the only one there's only one of you a special something or other what's it say you're one of a kind that's it anyway that's the end of the layout basically 
I hope you enjoyed the process. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know that you still want to watch a few of these every now and then. And please, if you have any comments, questions, tell me that you like it, you love it, whatever it may be. No, don't tell me you hate it. Don't tell me what you hate it, just that you like it. Um, and I shall catch you on the next video. Thanks very much. Talk to you then. Bye.